Welcome back to the YouTube home of Peter Pan Lore and Peter Pan Facts. With me, your Peter Pan hobbyist and enthusiast, using my Peter Pan hobbyist enthusiast brain and knowledge to bring you fun facts, lore and trivia, talk about the world of the Neverland, the story of Peter Pan, answer you guys' questions, and just generally have a little bit of fun while talking about this story. So what are we diving into today? Well, this little nugget of lore is all about the titular character, Peter Pan himself, and it's about his strange smile. So I'm going to talk to you about the three pivotal moments at which point we hear that Peter has this strange smile on his face. We're going to talk about why that might be and what is causing it. What is special about these particular moments that makes Peter smile in that strange, strange way? And what does it mean when he does? The first time that we hear mention of Peter Pan's strange smile is in chapter eight, The Mermaid's Lagoon. So Peter and all the other lost boys are having a sleep. They're napping on Maruna's rock. Wendy is awake, stitching. But then a dark change comes over the lagoon. Peter luckily can sniff danger in his sleep and he wakes at once. And as he listens, he hears what is approaching. The pirates. And this is where the strange smile first comes into play. And this is the extract from the novel. He stood motionless, one hand to his ear. Pirates! he cried. The others came closer to him. A strange smile was playing about his face, and Wendy saw it and shuddered. While that smile was on his face, no one dared address him. All they could do was stand ready to obey. The order came sharp and incisive. Dive! So already with the first mention of Peter's strange smile, we get a little bit of insight into at least what it means to the lost boys and those around him. It means no one say anything, Peter is paying attention, he's doing something important, don't interrupt. It's also interesting to note how this is written because it doesn't say while that smile was on his face, no one interrupted him. It says while that smile was on his face, no one dared address him. So that hints that the smile could have some danger to it as well. Perhaps in the past, Peter has worn this smile, tried to concentrate, and another lost boy interrupted or got in the way, or someone else did, and they met a sticky end. The second time that we hear about Peter's strange smile is actually in the same chapter, but at the very end. So we're back in chapter eight, The Mermaid's Lagoon, but the fight with the pirates has happened, Captain Hook has wounded Peter, and we are at the very end. He is left on Maruna's rock all by himself. And here is the quote from the novel. Peter was not quite like other boys, but he was afraid at last. A tremor ran through him, like a shudder passing over the sea. But on the sea, one shudder follows another till there are hundreds of them, and Peter felt just the one. Next moment, he was standing erect on the rock again, with that smile on his face and a drum beating within him. It was saying, to die will be an awfully big adventure. So that's twice in one chapter we've heard about Peter's strange smile, and what an interesting chapter for it to appear. We'll talk about the third time that we hear about Peter's strange smile next, and then we'll talk about what it could mean. The third time that we hear about Peter Pan's strange smile is in chapter 15, Hook or Me This Time. For context, it comes when Peter has come to the Jolly Roger pirate ship and he is fighting Captain Hook, facing down the man who has tried to kill him so many times. And Captain Hook is having a sort of internal existential crisis about coming to the end of his life. He is slowly coming to realise that fate is coming for him and there is not a thing he can do. Here is the extract from the novel. For long, the two enemies looked at one another, Hook shuddering slightly, and Peter with the strange smile upon his face. So, Pan, said Hook at last, this is all you're doing. Aye, James Hook, came the stern answer. It is all my doing. And then we have proud and insolent youth prepare to meet thy doom, dark and sinister man, have at thee. So those are the three times that Peter Pan's strange smile is mentioned in the story. Now let's talk about what could it mean? To anyone who is on Peter's side, anyone who knows him personally and is on his side of the adventures and things, this smile seems to mean two things. One, Peter is paying rapt attention to something and there could be danger. And two, don't interrupt him, potentially on pain of death. The second time the smile pops up is very interesting to compare and contrast, because the second time, there's no one there to witness it. 
It's Peter all by himself on Maruna's Rock, which I've said many times before is my favourite scene of the entire story. He is standing there in the dark. Again, even if there was someone there to see this smile, it's dark, night is falling. They're not gonna see it. The water of the lagoon is slowly rising. He has been wounded by Captain Hook. He can neither fly or swim and he believes he's going to drown. He feels afraid suddenly. And remember that this is the boy who forgets everything over time. So to him, it will probably feel like the first time he's properly frightened. But not only that, He's being frightened of his own demise. He's seeing his own death approach. And because he forgets everything, it's for the first time. This is a brand new experience. To him, it's the first time he has failed in a way. He can't escape this. He must face it head on. And so that fear only is allowed to run one shudder through him before he stops it. And he stands up straight on the rock and he's got that smile on his face. That smile that means I'm paying attention, something dangerous is coming, don't interrupt me. And then the next line that we get, which is actually in Peter's head, it's something his heart hammers out, but in the play he says it, in the novel it's just his heartbeat. The next line that Peter thinks or says, depending, is, to die will be an awfully big adventure. Moving on to the last time this smile is mentioned, we're on board the Jolly Roger, Peter is about to fight Captain Hook, and the name of the chapter gives us a little bit of insight here. This chapter is called Hook or Me This Time, which is the oath that Peter swore before he set off to go to the pirate ship, meaning he is going to die, or Captain Hook is. This time it ends with one of them. So, sensing a bit of a theme here, Peter has that smile on his face as he is looking into the eyes of the man who is either going to kill him or Peter is going to kill. So the first big corresponding factor we've got here is the prospect of danger and death. In each of these scenarios, when the strange smile appears on Peter's face, there is death or danger nearby. The first instance where he's standing on Maruna's rock, listening out for danger and death, he's listening and hearing the pirates approaching. This could be incoming death. If they see them, they'll start to fight. And of course, the Lost Boy is being afraid to interrupt him. That's a bit of danger as well and potential death, depending on how dark you go. The second time, Peter is standing on Maruna's rock, literally facing his own death and the smile appears on his face again as he faces off with it and feels the to die will be an awfully big adventure line. And then the third time, it's Captain Hook and Peter who could be facing death. Ultimately, it is Captain Hook, of course, but in that moment, neither of them know. Well, Peter doesn't know who's going to die. Captain Hook has a pretty good idea, but it could be either of them. The oath has been sworn, Hook or me this time. It will be a fight to the death. Peter is not going to leave the ship until he has finished fighting Captain Hook, win or lose. And that strange smile appears on his face yet again. Death, danger, death. Okay, so that's the first thing that connects Peter's smile. What else could it be about? Well, there is actually another thing that connects all three of these smiles. And I think some of you will have picked up on what that was when I read you the extracts from the novel. Let's see if you remember when I tell you that the word that connects the three strange smiles is the word shudder. That is right. So accompanying every one of Peter's described strange smiles is a shudder. And each shudder belongs to somebody different. The first time when we hear about Peter's strange smile, when he's standing surrounded by the Lost Boys and Wendy, listening out for danger and death, he has that strange smile on his face and seeing it makes Wendy shudder. Listen to the extract again. The others came closer to him. A strange smile was playing about his face and Wendy saw it and shuddered. Now let's move on to the very end of that chapter and we'll look at the next shudder, which belongs to Peter Pan himself. So this one comes when Peter is coming face to face with his own demise and his own death and that feeling of fear. Again, as I said, for the first time, he does not remember that he has felt this feeling before. So to him, it is new and terrifying. Don't forget, he may not be human anymore, but he is still a child with a childlike way of seeing the world and living and existing. And so those big terrifying emotions are huge to him. He is a little boy facing his own death in the dark by himself, completely alone. But let's revisit the passage from the novel and listen out for the shudder. Peter was not quite like other boys, but he was afraid at last. A tremor ran through him, like a shudder passing over the sea. 
But on the sea, one shudder follows another, till there are hundreds of them, and Peter felt just the one. Next moment, he was standing erect on the rock again, with that smile on his face. Peter feels this tremor, this shudder run through him, and it's the shudder of fear. But because he is no longer human, the fear doesn't creep on him in the same way. He manages to snuff it out somewhat. Where shudder should be running over and over and over, he just feels the one. He manages to stop it. And that's the strange smile coming onto his face. All right, let's move on to the third and final shudder, this time belonging to Captain James Hook. This one comes right at the beginning. So for long, the two enemies looked at one another, Hook shuddering slightly, and Peter with a strange smile upon his face. I think it's important to note that at this point, Captain Hook is realizing he cannot win this fight. In the next couple of pages, he is deceased, and he tries desperately to prevent his own fate but he knows, he knows that it's coming for him and there's nothing he can do. It's almost as if Peter's smile in that moment, while Hook may never have seen the smile before, it's as though that smile conveys to Hook the title of the chapter of his life that they are living in. Hook or me this time. And somewhere deep inside him, Hook knows it's not going to be Peter. So the questions I want to try and answer right now are, what does the smile mean? Why does Peter smile like that? What makes it happen? And does he know that he's doing it? The third one is the easiest to answer, and I'm going to say no. As with so many other things that Peter says and does, I don't think he understands or realises at all. I especially don't think he realises that some people around him know what it means. I think it's just something that happens and he has absolutely no idea about. So, what does the smile mean and what causes it? I'll start with the first one then. What causes Peter to smile his strange smile? Well, I think the answer is it's a response to danger. Severe danger. Not just little ripples of danger, but big, big danger that could potentially spell death and disaster, particularly death. What does the smile mean? Now, you could look at it literally and say, well, when Peter smiles that strange smile, it means you're probably in danger, or he's in danger, or someone he is fighting is in danger. It could just mean danger. Now, this makes sense, obviously, because people around him are shuddering. Captain Hook shudders, Wendy shuddered, Peter himself shuddered. Yes, of course, the smile definitely has an element of danger to it, particularly if you interrupt him while he is smiling it, or are fighting him while he's smiling it. However, I don't think that that smile is simply a warning that Peter is about to cause death or be killed. No, I don't think the smile is an indicator of death at all. I think actually the smile is Peter's immediate and gut reaction to the idea of death. Now we don't see it in scenarios where Tinkerbell is dying, where he thinks that Wendy is dead, although arguably when Wendy is dead she's already dead, so the smile wouldn't necessarily happen. I think it's his reaction to incoming but not yet happened death. And the reason why we don't see it when Tinkerbell is dying is because it's happening right in front of him in that moment and he is terrified and so instead of feeling that strange smile he's too focused on saving Tinkerbell. These three scenarios are different. Number one, there is possible incoming death coming from the pirates. In number two, there is slowly creeping up death, where death is certain and coming for him, but it's not there just yet. And in scenario number three, death is certainly coming, but he doesn't know to which one of them. And the thing to remember with this is that it's not a frown. It's not a look of fear or concentration or worry. It's a smile, a strange smile. A strange smile that comes onto Peter's face at the prospect of himself or other people dying. A smile. It's not a frown, it's not a look of concentration, it's not the tremor and shiver that everyone feels in response to this smile. No, no, no. It's a smile. Peter is seeing his own death, other people's death, blood, horrible battles, fights, danger coming towards him, and his response, his guttural reaction is... A smile. Is it any wonder then that Captain Hook and Wendy Darling shudder at the sight of it? They both know the context. Wendy knows that danger and death could be coming towards them. The pirates are coming, there could be a fight, there could be death, it's dangerous. And what is Peter doing in response to this? He's grinning. When Captain Hook sees his enemy staring up at him, 
He knows instinctively somehow that this is the fight to the death. This is the end. They are going to fight until one of them is slain for good. And he is shuddering, looking at Peter Pan with that strange smile on his face. Peter's reaction to one of them, potentially himself, dying almost immediately, is to grin. I definitely understand why the people who see it shudder and do not want to interrupt him when he is smiling this strange smile. And that actually brings me very nicely into the final point I want to make about Peter's guttural reaction and what this smile means and all of this. It's his reaction to death and danger and it scares the people around him and it instills fear in his enemies, but also it's a smile, as I said. So Peter's reaction to this scenario, Peter's reaction to his own horrible death, to killing an enemy or the enemy killing himself, and to incoming unknown dangers is a smile because he's looking forward to it. He's excited by the prospect. Remember when he was afraid? He only let one shudder run through him that time on Maruna's rock. And then he stood there and he thought to himself or said in the play, to die will be an awfully big adventure. He's turned it into a thrill, this prospect of death and danger that's incoming, the final, final moment of his life, and he's turned it into a game. He's turned it into something that he can have that strange smile about. And that sense of glee, enthusiasm, excitement for death and danger and darkness, that is there with the other moments as well. When Peter is standing on Maruna's rock listening out for danger, everyone around him is terrified, but Peter is hearing incoming pirates and he knows that there could be a fight and there could be death. And later on, Tiger Lily almost dies. And Peter has that strange smile on his face because he's gleeful about it. It's a thrill to him. It's an adventure to him. And again, right at the very end, Peter's strange smile comes onto his face when he, or Captain Hook, is going to get slain horribly in their duel to the death. And I think, in a way, that smile means that while he is cocky and believes that he will win, he also, in a way, doesn't care. He doesn't care who dies, him or Captain Hook, only that he knows one of them must. And whoever it is who is the victor, they have earned it in this moment. And that's all part of the adventure as well. That about wraps it up for today's lore video, partly because I am far too warm and I have to do a live later and those lights need to turn off because they're driving my brain in crazy. But I hope that you guys enjoy this tiny little nugget of information. What do you guys think about it? About the questions of what causes Peter to smile like this? What happens? Why does he do it? Does he know that he's doing it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, if you've got other bits of lore you want to talk about and ask about, chuck me anything you like in the comments down below. And also head on over to TikTok if you haven't already, because I can answer things a lot quicker on there because I check TikTok a lot quicker than I check my YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this crazy ass dive into some slightly dark lore. Thank you so much for engaging with my content as always. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny nugget of lore that I was giving you and the little theories I've got around it. I really love reading into the lore of this story. It's never gonna get old. Hydrate yourselves, please, dear God, and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, goodbye.